Hi, welcome to the Quixie Tree Workshop. My name is Christoph and today's video is about assembling my HHO Browns Gas Generator. Last week I showed you um, how I dismantled it and what the problems was and since then I got a few parts new and um, let's go through the parts and then I'll show you each one of them the improvements I made. And then after that, we'll assemble the whole thing. So first of all, um, these guys, I managed to get stainless steel ones. They are 316 stainless steel. And then I've got new, new piping, new length of this transparent tubing for the bubbler. Bought some fittings to make the bubbler. This is 50 millimeter. I'm going to glue it all in. One comes at the bottom and the other one at the top. So I'm going to put this at the bottom and this goes in there. It's going to be like this and then I can drain it and close it again and fill it up with fresh water. This was my previous one and as you can see it's very messy um, it had leaks I had to fix it so because I have a 3d printer come up with this solution so that part there is 3d printed and it's got thread and it's got a, a seal and then I've, I've added this rubber ball so and the spring so um, this is experimental the nice thing about this is i can fill fill it it also acts i don't have to unscrew the whole thing because if you have to unscrew it you have to undo your your piping if i want to put fresh water in i can just open it like this and then a nice thing about this is if i put this at an angle it gives less resistance so I can actually fine tune the amount of resistance I have for this to, to give way under pressure. So if there's an explosion, this will pop open. Um, but also if I'm over pressuring the, the system um, or I forget to, I close my torch and I forget to switch the machine off, it'll just pop, pop here. Uh, because of the pressure this is 30 30 millimeter pvc piping and a and an old squash ball glued on on that end and when i printed this i made that a chamfer there and i sanded it smooth so that this ball creates a nice seal there So the problem here was also um, this little pipe, it's copper, it blackened and this, if I push it in, uh, the, the stuff always went into the, into the pipe there. So I 3D printed this. So that little pipe there has got small holes all around. And this goes into, into this bottle like that and it screws and it also seals. It's also an o-ring in there. So that's that part. Then also I'm adding a radiator to, to help cool down. So I just made this from offcuts uh, aluminium that I had. Uh, it's just little sections of aluminium. I'll include laser cut files in the plans. Um, but this was just drilled 
and it's plates like this and they stack and you put one on top of the other one and then these uh, aluminium pipes they are fit in very tightly there's 10 of them and and I just uh, pushed this uh, PVC pipe it was a tight fit but I managed to get it through by stretching the pipe and then pulling it through so this uh, and the little fan that was still recycled from our previous the previous assembly and I'm reusing it in this way I think it's going to be much more efficient to, to help keep the electrolyte below 60 degrees Celsius now the only thing that's left are these these wooden boards that I want to replace with the plastic so let's cut the plastic quickly So um, I've made the plastic a slightly a little bit bigger than so that I have room for in enough room that it's not too too cramped. I'm going to use the old part as a template uh, because these holes were marked out exactly. So I'm just going to redo redo them. With the previous one, uh, the, the secondary bubbler was in the middle of the two. So I want to move it over to the one side so that there's space for the radiator on this side. So now that I've drilled the holes for the threaded rods, um, I left this this side open for the ammeter and my switches. So I'm gonna mark out where I wanna cut these holes and then I'm gonna put the ammeter down at the bottom and the switch at the top.
Um, note that the inside of these fittings, they are very shiny, um, like a mirror finish. That's not good for glue. The PVC weld glue uh, works better if, if, if it's, the surface is um, roughened. So that's what I'm doing with the sanding paper. Very coarse sanding paper. And I'm making sure that they are completely rough and scratched. I'm putting masking tape so that I know where to sand and where to glue, otherwise it's ugly. Always be generous with the uh, amount of glue. And then when you insert it, you twist it, turn it around. And then you can wipe off the X axis. What you see inside there is a aquarium air stone. Um, it's just to break the bubbles up into smaller bubbles. So this is it for this week. Next week I'll do the plumbing and I'll finish the thing up and test it. Hope you have a great week and subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye.